Alright, howdy peeps, I'm out of time and I gotta do this on the run. Just wanted to give you a little update on this, uh, on the rip saw job. Uh, we got the motor in, that turned out great. Uh, had 13 wires on that motor and the reason we had 13 wires on that motor is when we took it down there Jasper Motors to get it rebuilt, they told us that that motor is, that runs that rip saw, it wasn't like a Y Delta starter box. I don't know if I got that on here or not. It's actually, that motor's actually like three different motors wound into one. So when you change that selector that was on that rip saw, you ought to have to go back a few pages and see if he's interested in chasing that down. But the wires, there's three different motors in there. So when you change your speed selector on that saw, it just go to a different set of wires coming off the of hot wires and run it to a different set of windings in that motor. And then that motor was five horse motor then in a different RPM, which is, it's old school technology. That saw dates back to the 50s, to the 1950s, that rip saw does. And uh, also found will rain oil and oil cups and stuff down there and stuff, but, but it's cool. But anyways, uh, that rip got fixed and we ran the shit out of it this evening. We ran uh, five bundles of rips that are just end to end. <laughs> uh, we had three pullers and one time Tim started hollering up the line to, for me to stop so he could catch up pulling. Now, there's there's three guys pulling lumber. And that's how fast that rip was. And going through that rip, that was great. That was great. Uh, the head saw project turned out good and we're probably going to go back to Logan Monday. So uh, we all got everything prepped. The hydraulic hose crimper went good and whitey. Things are just rolling pretty good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, like, it's working. We ain't on any big logs, though. Just flipping up how it was right now. Oh, stuff.
tab up there like dust up there. I think we got a wood. Look at that, just laying it right there. After what? Two hours of sawing? They sawed for two hours, didn't they, Junior? Yeah. <laughs> and the reason we had to fix it because Junior said he's going to make me start shoveling it. Junior, I didn't get this fat on accident. I didn't do it shoveling sawdust, I'll tell you that much. Look over here. This here kind of still sucks a little bit, but hell, that's two hours. That's what? How much of a day? That's a quarter of a day? A little, over quarter, a little less than a little over a quarter a day actually. Yeah. So it's gonna get three quarters. Yeah. Have one ash, then it's not gonna do much. The top where it's just like a mess. Yeah. Six that six. top saw, I was watching it, and even if it barely hits this saw, it just slings shit. It went well, if it barely hits this saw with this flap up there, it's gotta carry out of the wood and get up to here before it ejects it. So by that time, even if it's barely touching, it's still gonna catch us. I stood back and watched him, he did nothing come out. Almost every bit you're seeing is from the bottom zone. Which I mean, this takes 20 minutes to clean. Fuck it. <laughs> but this here won't get any worse all day long. Cause this here, every, every trip it's scooping out. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, all you have to do is like find a small room just yeah, that's what I was thinking. If I'd have cut my flap a little better, I'd have cleaned it a little better for you. But... Yeah. And there ain't going to be no more stuff up above the cab. We might as well just clean that off sometime soon. Yeah, and figure. Blow that off next day. And just uh, figure yeah, from now on, it's just going to be a little light dust up there once in a bit. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, and you can't really tell where it stops and starts here, can you? Right here. Right here is where the flap stops. Right here, where these big pieces are. It didn't scoop nothing back though. When it got them big pieces, it just opened up and went on. Yeah. It was 35, wasn't it? Huh? It was 35, wasn't it, to shut them off? Or 37? It was 35 or 37 to shut these off. Yep, 35. Woo! Cap power. Do I need to shut the cap power off? No. Then we set up here. Alright? Yeah, don't do that. Let's come up here and give a look. See, my buddy Luke, he's, his bunch has been up here doing uh, chip and pulp wood. They, uh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. They're rained out in their woods too. And uh, the, uh, we got all this extra pulp wood. They got a big D250B. I tell you, they got, them things are beasts now. Yeah, I mean, them are beefcakes. Um, about, what is he, about halfway done? They ain't made almost halfway done today. Probably a third anyway, a little over a third. We had all this pulp wood we've been saving because uh, you got to save this stuff for the being the malt business. So you make sure, because that's how you can sit on your product. Well, we had a company down the road that's a big heavy hitter in the malt business, and they come in and they put the squeeze there on the malt sales. So we're like, well, we'll sell them for chips then. So we're chipping, now that's our mulch balls. So we're, so Luke comes and said, hell, let us come in. We're all rained out in the woods and we'll chip at and then uh, get it out of your hair. And if we have to restock it, we'll restock it with fresh stuff later on down the road. But uh, they're good fellers. I like that bunch. 
I tell you what, this community we got around here, we got some pretty good companies around here. Some pretty good people. There's Guinea's mulch. It's looking pretty good. That was last year's mulch. Boy, our mulch is pretty good product, though. All right, later on.